Today, we want to look at how we can like mathematics in SOMAS. And because this is very important, particularly to help us write down. So on my left hand side is the equations that we want to have. So for example, we want to have lean x, lean of four. And so how do we write that in SOMAS? We write it as log of four. Remember, this is what we expect to have in SOMAS. So in SOMAS, we write log of four. If you have an equation of the form E, x squared. Now, I found that some are putting it down in a very unique way, but the standard form should be this. This is how the equation should be. That is how the equation should appear in SOMAS, this part. And not this. as some of us are trying to write it. Some of us are writing it this way. This will give me something like this. And it will not give me the original equation. So we need to be careful how we are writing down equations in SOMAS. This will give me e to the power x over two, not e to the power x squared. If I want to write down something like a square root, for example, the square root of 19 minus x squared, then that I'll write as sqrt of 19 minus x squared, and that is what I'll be writing in SOMAS. And it will give me the left-hand side because I want the square root of, uh, of that. There's also another way you can do the same. You could have written the same in SOMAS as SQRT, 19 minus X squared. Then you say square, of one over two. That will still give you the equivalent. Sorry, you don't put the square root uh, there. You just say 19 minus x squared one over two, and that will give you the square root. So these are some of the ways of writing these equations. And uh, don't think it's so technical. Once you get familiar with the centers of SOMAS, get familiarity. If I have an equation like x squared plus one to power three over five, how do I write that in SOMAS? It's also akin, you find that it's not as technical as it might want to look. So I'll just put x to power two, uh, not to power two there to two there, then I say plus one to power three, and then I say divide five. It's going to give me that equation on my left-hand side. If I have an equation like sine of x over two, then how do I write that? It's very important how we write it. So let me just rewrite this in a slightly different fashion. How do I write that? I'll just say sine of x over two. Not some of us tend to write this. These are two different equations. Let's accept that. This will be equal to sine x over two. 
This is not equals to x over two, it is sine x over two. And sine x over two is not equivalent to sine of x over two. No, 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 no. Those are two different equations that you get. Let's think also of another simple example. I like the sine inverse, because these are the most common, might find in calculus. The sine inverse of something maybe like 2x. Then if you want to write that in, uh, in SOMAS, you write a sine, that gives you sine inverse. Then you say two times x. You have to put that multiplication sign there for it to give you two sine x. And then uh, if, for example, you have the ln, the natural logarithm, and you want to put the ln of uh, x plus one. If you want to have that, then what you have is log absolute value of x plus one. So where does the absolute value come in? These two is the absolute value. And this is what you're calling the ABS. And then finally, the last question we want to look at today is if you are given an equation like uh, 2y squared plus 3y, then this I can write it as 2 times y to power 2 plus 3 times y. And that will give me what is on my left hand side. So you ag agree with me that writing these equations is not as technical as it might want to appear for us. So thank you for your time.